What's going on guys? It's Drew with Profit Monsters. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is actually going to be pretty interesting. As you can see, I'm chilling here in my shed. I haven't given you guys much of a shed update video lately, but things are going really good. Business is great. The shed is looking good. And uh, I got some stuff moved around for my camera setup right now. But in today's video, I actually am going to show you guys a blind mystery box that I created for a buyer and I'm going to tell you guys what I'm shipping them and then you guys can let me know in the comment section if you think I gave them a good deal. So a little bit of background information about this box is I was on Joey Bada Bing 22's live listing. We do it every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a great time. We get a lot of listings done. We hang out with people, we work, we chat, and we just engage with the reseller community. So if you're a part of that and you're watching this, thank you so much. We love seeing you guys in there. We love hanging out with you guys. But at the end of the night, we did an auction. And instead of auctioning off like a piece of clothing or something, I decided to create a blind mystery box. And I've seen a couple people do these on Instagram. So I thought it would be fun. So what I did is I told the audience that I would create a mystery reseller box valued at double the amount of what the highest bid was. So people started bidding and shout out to everybody that threw out a bid, I appreciate you. And the last final bid ended up coming down to $300 by the uh, Instagram account, Infamous Stacker. Shout out if you're watching this before you open the box, I hope you're happy with everything. But anyway, so he bid $300, so I'm guaranteeing $600 worth of resellable goods uh, in value. So now I'm going to show you guys what I picked out so far and what I'm going to send him and you can let me know in the comment section below if you think it was a good buy for the buyer. So let's get into it. First off, we are going to start off with some snap-on tools. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I've been selling tools like crazy. Snap-on is a great brand to resell and you can see right there, this is a tool socket set with the little holder. I actually had a bunch of tools listed and decided this one had the most watchers on it, so I took it down, uh, but Snap-on tools can vary in value. I had it listed for $100 uh, with what multiple watchers on it, so I feel like this is easy, probably 80 to 90 bucks, maybe even 100 if you wait for the right buyer. I've sold a lot of Snap-on tools already, so I think that that's a good starting point at around $100 in value. And since I found the Snap-on tools, I decided to throw these in. Nothing crazy, but we've got two Snap-on button-down shirts right here. One is like a red and one is a burgundy. They are embroidered with Snap-on right there. Uh, both of them pretty much the exact same. Two different brand shirts, but good sizes. And uh, I believe they're both large. Very clean, no flaws. These should easily be $20 to $25 shirts. Resell mechanics, people going to um, like school for this kind of stuff or people who just like Snap-on in general because it's a great, great brand to wear in their garage while they're working on their cars and stuff. These are great shirts. They should sell very fast. So I'm valuating this at about $40 to $50 uh, in resellable shirts right there. Next up, we have a little NASCAR deal here. Um, this is actually a Kellogg's Terry Labonte uh, die cast um, car. And I'm going to try to pull it carefully out of the box here but you can see right there, uh, it's like basically brand new. It's one of these like limited edition runs of this box. I don't exactly know how many there were, uh, but this was like $60 brand new when it first came out, which was a long time ago, I believe in the early 2000s. Um, so looking up comps, again, I feel like this is probably a 30 to $40 car, but I'm going to just put it at, 40, at $30. Uh, plus shipping for a resellable product right here. And the reason that I'm throwing this in the box is because I'm also including this matching vintage uh, NASCAR Terry Labonte windbreaker. I feel like this is pretty cool and I'm just trying to give a variety to the buyer so that um, I'm not kind of sure the kind of stuff that he likes to sell. He told me on Instagram just to give him some stuff and he trusts me so at least I'm going to base everything off of resellable comps. Now, this exact jacket has not re sold recently. Um, it is a competitor's view tag size large, really nice, no flaws. And I feel like this should sell 
There were two comps, one for 40 and one for 65 sold. So I'm going to value this jacket at about 50 bucks. Next up is just a little simple piece, new with tags, John Deere snapback hat. This exact hat sold recently for $25. Again, nothing crazy, just an easy, uh, popular brand, easy to resell, very clean, new with tags, never worn, should sell this very fast. This was an item I thought was kind of cool. I picked this up recently and um, just decided to throw it in because it's lightweight. It's easy to ship, easy to sell. There are none listed and two sold. It is a vintage 1994, I believe, or yeah, 1994 Ralph Marlin Ferrari tie. Obviously, Ferrari is a great brand and the graphic is pretty cool. This tie has sold for $25 and $29 recently, so I feel like this is an easy $30 listing since there are none actively listed, and one has recently sold for $30, so I feel like $30 is a fair asking price for that tie. Next up, we've got a Dymo Turbo 450 right here. This is the uh, not the XL model, just the Dymo 450 for the smaller labels, not for your typical resellers. It powers on, it's been tested and working, but there are no labels included. The comps on this are decent, probably around 40 bucks plus shipping. This should sell really fast. These are easy sellers right here. Lots of listeds, lots of solds. Next up is a clothing item that I am really excited about. I thought this was a really cool piece and a very rare piece. I actually got this from my shoe buyout with Rally Roots and I was gonna hold on to it and keep it, um, but I was looking up some comps and the prices are kind of there, but hard to research. There are some on WorthPoint. There's one of these actively listed on Poshmark. Let me show you what it is. It is a Pele vintage 1994 silk soccer uh, jacket, and it's got a certificate of authenticity on it, but this is just a really cool graphic. If you don't know who Pele is, he's like basically the Muhammad Ali of soccer, you know, the Mark McGuire of soccer, all, all sorts of stuff like famous, you know, Babe Ruth of soccer, or of soccer, I would say more like Mark, more than Mark McGuire, but it has a certificate of authenticity inside of the jacket, 1994 limited edition, 1994 Pele jacket celebrating soccer throughout the world. Size large on a Pele tag, 100% silk, really cool jacket. There's one actively listed on Poshmark for $150 of this jacket, and there are none that I found actively listed on eBay. There are similar Pele jackets listed for anywhere from 80 to 200. Um, so I feel like this is an easy $100 piece, maybe even $150. You guys decide. I'll show up the, uh, as you guys saw the comp for the Poshmark active listing. It's the exact same jacket and this one has no flaws on it. I feel like 100 to 150 dollars to the right buyer this will absolutely sell all right and then here we've got some uh cameras this was a cool find for me and so i decided to throw this in because it could be lotted up as one lot valued at around probably 200 or 175 maybe even 150 if you really wanted to sell it but right here this is the big money maker out of the lot you've got a pentax uh one that k1000 camera again you guys will see the comps on all of this stuff as i'm recording this video but there's all sorts of goodies in here there's the original manuals there's another pentax camera this is an a3000 not as valuable there's flashes there's lenses there's uh, original owner's manuals right here for the cameras as you can see and it comes with this travel bag which is not pentax brand but i feel like this is a great bundle that somebody that this buyer could end up individually lotting things out. You know, this is probably a $15 to $20 flash. This is probably a $10 flash. There's a lens down there. But this camera right here is where the money's at and it's got the uh, the Pentax shoulder strap. This camera alone should sell for a minimum of $100 and that is not including, you know, everything else that is in here. So depending on how the buyer for this bundle lots this up, um, or the seller, I guess you could say, Mr. Infamous Stacker, depending on how he bundles this up, he could make probably over $200 on just this bag alone. All right, so based on the calculations of the numbers I kind of shared in the video and the comps that I researched, we are pretty close to the $600 mark already in value. And obviously I said I would minimum double that. So given that you have to consider maybe best offers, some of this stuff, I feel like there is an exact comp sold 
and so that number should be pretty accurate. But I wanted to throw in one other thing that I feel like would really just make the deal sweet for the buyer. So again, Infamous Stacker, shout out to you. I appreciate you watching. It is going to be this bundle right here of PlayStation 1 games. And I value this bundle right here at about $100 to $125 pretty easily. Uh, you've got Metal Gear Solid. This was like a uh, espionage action two disc series right here. They are all in good condition. And I will pop up the comps as I'm showing them. You've got Die Hard Trilogy right here. And uh, with the original case, these all have original cases. NBA Jam Extreme, pretty cool game and just in good condition. You've got Rascal, I've never even heard of this, but when I scanned it for the barcode, it had really good comps on it. You've got Judge Dredd, again, another game that I've never heard of, but this is why I love video games. Two or three pictures, scan the barcode, make that money, ship it out. Everybody loved this game, Twisted Metal 3. This had pretty good comps on it. Mine's missing the front little cover art, but still has decent comps on it. You've got Space Jam, the, uh, the game for PlayStation. This actually has really good comps on it as well. And then finally, you've got CTR, Crash Team Racing. This was a great game back in the day. I love Crash, I love Crash Bandicoot and the whole series. I actually have another one, but uh, it's missing the disc, so I'm obviously not gonna throw that in. But there you go. I feel like this is easily $100 to $125 in value. Maybe even more if you wait for the right buyers and you don't accept offers. But there you have it, guys. There's the box. There's the mystery blind bidding bundle, if you will. And so let me know down in the comment section below if you felt like this was a good value for $300 spent. I feel like I'm offering close to $700 in resellable goods for this buyer. Now, again, I'm taking into consideration that there are offers accepted, the market, comps, things like that. Uh, but based on my research, I feel like this is a pretty good box. If you had bid $300 blind bid and this is what you got, would you be happy with it? Let me know. If you would, smash that like button for me. Consider subscribing if you have it. All right, guys, I've got everything boxed up right here and it is ready to go. So now we're going to go into my office and we are going to see how much this box is going to cost me to ship. All right, guys, so for this package, I'm using GoShippo.com. This is what I use for my wholesale boxes when I was selling shoes from my Rally Roots buyout. And check this out. So we are looking at 18 by 17 by 12, total of 23 pounds. And the shipping is going to run me about $19.04. That is really cheap considering uh, if I were to use Priority Mail, it would be costing me a lot more. So if you don't use UPS Ground, Sometimes you need to consider that. So I call that a win in my book. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Peace money.